guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of these uh, slipcover sofas that I just got from lindakale.com and kind of show you guys what it looks like. They have a ton of different options, and I'm going to show you exactly how well it fits on this Pottery Barn uh, Grand Sofa. So this is a Grand Sofa, which is a little bit wider, and um, I know that the Pottery Barn uh, sofa slipcovers can cost up to thousands of dollars just for the slipcover alone, not to mention the actual uh, piece of furniture itself. What I wanted to share with you guys is an affordable option when it comes to getting a slipcover for your sofa. I have four little ones at home and um, having white slipcover sofas, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, oh my gosh, why would you do that? And the thing is, I like white sofas. I didn't want to have sofas that, you know, were darker because I don't like that aesthetic um, personally, but I also didn't want to have a trade-off of not getting what I want as well as then not being able to take off the sofa covers because I know that kids can be gross. I will show you guys close-ups of how gross the sofa actually is. We've washed this a couple times now and it is time for us to basically go ahead and replace the actual slipcover itself. lindakale.com has a ton of different options that you can choose from, from pattern to solids to uh, different types of fabric material. And so we got like a velvet uh, version of the slipcover sofa this time around. This is actually a denim version. And so what I'm gonna show you is what it looks like and how it fits onto the sofa cover. All right, first up though, I wanna show you guys basically how dirty it gets with kids. Okay, so this part's like super dark, as you can see. Um, it's kind of gray, and then you can come over here and you see um, all of that disgustingness. And if I had a darker sofa, you can imagine that all this stuff would be hiding underneath, um, basically in the fabric. And so you can see here, um, kids like literally draw on it. But you know what? I just got this package in, and so what I want to do was basically uh, go ahead and replace them and it's pretty cheap to replace unlike the sofa I think I got the sofa a few years ago, and it was about I would say $1,800 But right now um, they're being sold for I think $2,500. I'll go ahead and link down to the specific sofa I got but this is what The sofa looks like now with four kids, okay? Okay, so you guys can see all the different stains and so Every maybe three or four years, I'll go ahead and replace the sofa slipcover. Um, I've got a lined pattern as well that I have, um, but every so often I'll get a um, whim and want to change things. And as you can see with slipcover sofas, the cushions basically can be removed just like that. And you can see kids have dart walls and all that stuff and it's really gross in there. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch this out and show you guys what it looks like. All right, this thing is amazing. If you guys do not have a Dyson, I would highly recommend it uh, because my Dyson machines have been quite awesome because I've never had to replace my Dyson vacuum. You guys are probably wondering why I'm talking about Dyson vacuums. It's because it's like a wonderful, wonderful cleaning tool because um, I've got the cordless one and I can basically uh, take the attachments, remove them. I use them on my hardwoods whenever um, we're cleaning up after dinner. I mean, it is so great. In addition, I've had several vacuums before the Dyson and I've always had to replace them every single year and the Dyson's been amazing, especially for the sofa um, and cleaning up after it. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up so that you guys can see what that looks like. As you can see, they've done a really great job uh, packaging and uh, the fabric option that I actually chose was velvet. It was a white velvet, but they have a ton of different fabric options, including heavy duty cotton, linen blend, velvet, um, floral pattern with all sorts of different floral, faux leather, Chanel stripes, dense weave, um, waterproof poly cotton blend, and they have a ton of other options. And you can also order samples before you even choose uh, the fabric that you want to use for your sofas. All right. So what I want to share with you guys is the detail on this. See how the trim is? They've got like the little piping on there. So that's like attention to detail, right? And it's super soft. Um, I'll go ahead and link down to the fabric that I, um, they've used. And it looks like a very, very, really good high quality zipper that they're using. And then you can see inside, like the seams look absolutely awesome. And they've uh, done a serger. Around it, oftentimes whenever you see like people making cushions, they won't actually surge around it. So that's like the attention to detail right there. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cushions on there so that you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, one thing, this is the old cushion. You see how it's like torn? 
So this is like the quality of, I guess, the pottery barn version. So, I mean, my kids actually jump on our sofas a lot. So this is not no fault of pottery barns, but this is more of like, this is what my kids see. You see that pink? Yeah. So um, I don't expect that they won't tear up the sofa, but what I do expect to is at least have a cleaner uh, sofa cushion whenever we're sitting down. So the goal is to at least uh, replace it so it doesn't look too uh, gross. And so it's cheap enough that so it's cheap enough that I can just replace them. Let's talk about my kids and white sofas for a minute. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, why are you still paying like $300 for replacing just the slip covers? Well, first of all, I don't want to dispose of another sofa. I want to be able to clean my sofa so that if I needed to clean it or if I needed to, you know, replace the covers, I could without having to figure out how to sell the old sofa and get a new sofa delivered. This is like the easiest way to have the best of both worlds where I'm not disposing of a frame, I'm just disposing of the cover itself. Um, I have thought about actually making my own sofa covers but it just takes too much time and I really don't have time uh, with the amount of uh, things that I'm working on including this blog as well as running a household and also running a full-time career. So um, this is like the next next best thing basically to getting a new sofa. It's just replacing the sofa cushions which is great. I have had uh, the inkling of wanting to get like a um, uh, basically a sectional in this space but I feel like my space is way too small to get a sectional and then I don't I haven't found a lot of sectionals that have slipcover sofas so that's one reason why I haven't gotten a sectional but that is one of my things um, that's on my dream list of things to get once the kids are a bit older and um, wiser in terms of not having to eat on the sofa. One thing I would recommend is when you're getting a party barn sofa and you have the option of choosing a back that was down versus polyester, I would recommend getting the poly uh, polyester because the, we have the down one and basically it started like fluffing downwards and so it would sag, especially where my husband likes to sit. And so what I would recommend is going ahead and going with the polyester fill because it'll definitely save <laughs> the back part of your cushion. And we actually got it redone uh, by a upholster. So yes, it's added to the cost of the sofa, but I would not have it any other way. And so what I like to do is actually zip all this up um, so that I can wash them. And um, as you can see here, like there's a bunch of strings and stuff um, that kind of unravel whenever you have someone who doesn't do the, um, the surging on the edges of the, uh, the fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, making sure that the part that goes on the curve is correct. And so this is it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that on here. This slip cover fits so well. Um, whenever I put it on, I knew that they had the Velcro on the side where the arms are. If you can see right where the arms are, there is usually like velvet, not velvet, sorry, Velcro that is underneath like the arm so that it holds like the arm um, area together. Also the areas where you wanna make sure that um, the slip cover uh, actually fits really well is on the edges of that uh, seat. So if you look at the top edge of the seat, you wanna make sure that that fits really well as well as the front. So being able to kind of um, tuck in the back side of the slipcover as well as allowing that slipcover to kind of like you know like hang uh, close to the floor but not touching the floor because obviously you don't want to get it all dirty and stuff but overall um, this uh, slipcover sofa by Linda Kale uh, fits perfectly uh, for my slipcover sofa from Pottery Barn. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me put together my sofa again. I know that with the white sofa, I can guarantee you the kids will definitely uh, get it messy. But what's really great about a slipcover sofa in general is that you can wash it and you can uh, basically take the stains off of it. And if you really need to get rid of it, you can and get a new one, um, especially when slipcover sofas can be super affordable when it comes to the covers themselves. There are people that actually specialize in creating slipcover sofas for those brands. What I've done in the past is go to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and actually buy a sofa secondhand that has like the Pottery Barn frame or the Ikea frame and go ahead and replace the cover that was purchased with it and buy a brand new one so it's fresh uh, for my house. That's what I would recommend to you guys. Um, I know there are a lot of different options for sofas out there, but with kids and all that, um, I tend to veer towards having a slipcover sofa uh, just because I can wash it. And you guys know how gross kids can be. And so uh, what's really great is now I have a brand new slipcover sofa 
on this couch. If you guys want to do a comparison between um, IKEA versus party round sofas, go ahead and check out my next video where I kind of show you guys how an IKEA cheap cover actually fits on top of a potter bar frame, which is pretty unusual, but pretty awesome at the same time. But if you guys need a slip cover, go ahead and check out uh, the link below to the Linda Kale site because they have an amazing selection of fabrics and all that. I personally wanted to replace the white denim that I had and do something more soft. Um, and this is kind of like the velvety uh, feel. It's like performance fleece, I think. I'll go ahead and link down below to the one I chose, but I think it fits perfect. Um, and I love the detail and attention to quality that they have uh, for this line. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you guys like videos like this, go ahead and click on the like button because that will definitely help the YouTube algorithm out. And if you guys like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe because that will help me out tremendously. All right. Thanks guys. Take care.